Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazelton and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a notebook cover using Canva and the KDP cover calculator. Now this could be any sort of cover. It doesn't have to be specific to a notebook but today I'm going to be showing you a composition notebook for an example. But you can make any cover you would like whether that's a journal, a notebook, a planner, a coloring book, activity book, anything like that. You can design it however you would like. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really means so much to me. So let's get started. So here is Canva. You can just Google Canva or go to canva.com. You will have to make an account, I believe, but you do not need the pro version in order to make a cover. You're just limited in what you can do. And then you're also going to want to have the KDP cover calculator, which you can either Google again or type in the search bar the web address. I'm also going to be linking these in the description below, followed by a free template for a composition book cover in case you have been struggling to make your own or just want to have a template to start with. So first you're going to want to enter your book information. So we're going to be making a paperback, black and white, with white paper, right to left. For measurements, we'll do inches. An interior trim size, I'm going to do 7.5 by 9.25. That seems to be a common size for composition notebooks. But if you're making something else, then just make sure you pick the correct trim size for your book. And you can also do a custom trim size if it's not listed here. For page count, the interior that I have is 200, which will also be linked in the description below as a free download in case you didn't want to make your own. But if you do, that's perfectly fine. I just like to give people options. And then we're going to hit calculate dimensions. And this is great. It pops up with all of this information. It even has a download template option right here, which is definitely helpful if you're looking to put words in the spine or put a specific color there. You can download it and add it into your cover on Canva, and then you'll know exactly where you are. I usually like to guess and make my middle sections a bit wide so that way the cover falls into the back and front or the spine color falls into the back and the front so it goes past the spine but I will show you guys that in a minute because that might have sounded a bit confusing but the information you're going to want to need is in this number one column the full cover which is what we need to create our book because when you upload your cover to Amazon KDP you need the full cover the back spine and the front all in one document so I'm going to go back to Canva to create a design in the top right. Custom size. For width, we have 15.7. I'm going to change this to inches. Add in 15.7. And then for height, it's going to be 9.5. 9.5. And then I'll hit create new design. And it should open up a tab that's completely blank. And there should be templates to the left. And you can rename this however you would like. I'm not going to name it because this is just an example. But I highly suggest trying to stay as organized as possible because it can get really confusing when you're making multiple covers at once. So there are all these different tabs over here on the left hand side. There are elements, which are various like graphics and designs that you can add to your picture. If you don't have the pro version, not all of them are available, but they still offer a wide range of them for free. The uploads here, you can upload your own photos. As you can see, some of mine, I did some YouTube thumbnails and um, some other backgrounds. I like to try around with a few different ones. I don't always use everything I upload. Make sure whatever you do upload that you do have commercial license use because um, we will be selling these books and you don't want to have any copyright errors. For a background, they offer multiple types of backgrounds for free. These can be really great to use. They have gradient, solid colors. You can choose your own color. Here, um, there's really endless choices. I'm just going to pick a teal or light blue. And then they have more down here, logos. Um, I don't have any logos, but mainly you're going to want to be using the elements, text, and background, at least for simple covers. So I'm going to start with creating something for the spine. So I'm going to go to elements and add in this square. And all you have to do is click on it. You can adjust the width and height. 
using these tools, I like to go a little bit past just to make sure I don't miss anything. I like them wide and top right, I'll do position, middle, center. And it centers it for you. So this is where the spine is going to be, right down the middle. I have it more past the spine just because I want it to fall over onto the front and back covers. So next I'm going to just be making a simple composition notebook title. You just go to text, you can add a heading, composition notebook, that's way too big for me, I'm going to shrink it, then just move it right here. I want to add a little background behind my title as well so it pops out more, so I'm going to add another square and then I'm just going to resize it to however I would like to. And again, there will be a template in the description, or you can customize this to however you would like. I'm going to change the background of it to white. Up here in the top left, you can pick your various colors. And I'm also going to add some lines. I'm just going to add a line, put it right in here, shrink it. And I'm going to copy and paste, control C and V, or control D to duplicate. And I want these to be in the middle. And I'm also going to add some more text. Again, this is all personal preference. I'm going to add 200 pages. Put that right there. And I'm going to duplicate this to save myself some time. And change this to wide ruled. Usually I would probably go a little bit slower, but because of the tutorial, I just want to go a little bit quicker so you guys get a gist of what's going on. To create a border around it, I like to use the lines and then just line them up. You don't have to do a border. You can honestly do whatever you would like. This is your book that you're creating. So definitely put your own twist on it. Try your best not to copy anybody. Um, Amazon does not like that and you can actually get in trouble. So if you see a design you like, it's great to be inspired by it. But do your best to create your own traditional design. Make sure that this is straight, move it over a little bit, and I'm just going to copy and paste that one again. So here we are, and honestly, this could be done just as is if you want to create a light blue cover with nothing fancy, that this could be perfectly done. Um, don't forget that in the bottom left right here is where the barcode is going to be. So if you do have a design on the back cover of your page and you want it to be seen, just be aware of the barcode that will go there because it will cover any designs you have. So let's go and look at the elements here. Let's see, let's add some flowers. Um, these are super great to add a little flair to your background. Just going to add them right here. I'm going to make them wide enough to do the whole page. And I don't want these to be on the front. Um, it's kind of covering the words. So I'm going to go position and then keep hitting backwards until it's all the way to the back. And honestly, this could be done just as is. Well, wow, this is so super cute. We just have a simple design in the front with the flowers. Sometimes simple is better. You don't have to go all out. Uh, we can search for something in Canva. Let's just search for puppy because puppies are super cute. Um, they have so many designs for you to choose from. The ones that say pro means that you can only get them if you're a pro member. I have a free trial right now. Um, see, this one says pro. This one says free. They do have so many designs for free, so you shouldn't struggle to find it. You can add elements. I could add these dots right on the front if I want to. Um, you could add... Some more flowers if you really love the flower design. You can shrink this down. You could add it right here or in the corner. I'm just going to delete that because I don't think we need it. So it is so easy to make designs. You don't even have to put anything on the back cover here if you don't want to. So just to clarify, this left side is the back cover. The middle is the spine, which I have more color than I need to cover just the spine. And on the right side is your actual cover that people will see when they preview your book. So the cover is definitely the most important one, in my opinion, because that is the first impression that people will see when they look at your book. I'm just going to leave this as is, and I hope that really helps. 
when you're all done and you're satisfied with your cover, you'll go to download, change it to PDF because that's what Amazon KDP requires, hit download, and then all you have to do is upload it into the cover upload section when you're uploading a new book. And it should be all set. It will show you the margins. So just make sure that everything is in the margins. A little bit will get cut off around the edges. So if you have any designs that are close to the edge that you want to be seen, I suggest double checking when the print preview comes up that they won't be cut off. And you can always come back and readjust them later. And if you want to create more designs, you can just copy this document that you have into a new one, or you can duplicate the page, create something brand new, and when you download, just hit select pages and download the only page that you need. So I hope this was super helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see. I always love to have feedback and I'd greatly appreciate the support. There will be links and templates in the bio, in the description of this video, so if you're looking to have a template to start off with instead of creating this from scratch, please go ahead and check them out. They are completely free. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day.